let us appreciate Professor Paul Obiani. <laughs> I'm sure that by now our guest lecturer will feel relaxed knowing the people who are sitting around. So let's leave that until we get to the appropriate time. Also on the high table is the chairman of the LOC of this distinguished lecture series. She is also the head department. It is when we have the Founders Day or the prize giving you know, day. And then you know that many people are here to receive prizes. But for a lecture of this nature, I want to think that the personalities involved actually have the magnet area. You're welcome. And in an event like this, we need to lean on the strength of, of those who have gone ahead of us in different categories, in different times. Let us invite Professor Nanyelugo Okoro. You could tell how he made that promise, Lorenzo did. And because of that, I'm bringing him back to make good his promise. But before he does, I'd like to recognize heads of departments and units of the faculty and the University of Nigeria. Lorenzo is ready to interface with you. Lorenzo. Please put your hands together for Dr. Ikenna Ongwebuna, the University of Nigeria orator. With the uh, the candidate is here. Her name is Our Excellency Dr. Mrs. Edith Uguay. Please, if where is she? Please put your hands together for her. And please, ma, can the ushers bring her to the high table? She's running for deputy governorship. Please, let's bring her to the high table. Let's welcome Sakasmaya C. Ugu. Please, sir, we want to have you on stage. Please, sir, you can come up and join us here, sir, please. We have a seat for you. Okay, so let's speed things up. I'd like to invite for welcome address the Dean, Faculty of Arts. If you clap, I'm sure he would want to come up. P put your hands together for Professor Lionesses. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. Uh, let me rest on existing uh, protocol. With, uh, I am delighted to welcome our guest lecturer Frank Wenke Jr. When he was nominated as Minister to represent Enugu State by Governor Chimaroke Namani during the Obasanjo's presidency, the news was that President Obasanjo had expected a huge man with swagger of a minister. But in the cabinet, our guest lecturer dazzled the president with his rigorous intellectual contributions. President Obasanjo moved him from one sensitive cabinet position to another. Our guest lecturer is intellectually formidable, amiable, highly cognitive political leaders and thinkers. This, this is a momentous time in the history of Igbo land, spanning 24 unbroken years of democracy. What have we as a people made of it? How many people have we lifted out of poverty? Have we economic depression of 1929 to 1933 reduced the mighty America to Paupa with his impactful New Deal, social security, banking reforms, energy, judicial reforms, etc. America or Singapore transformed a small island nation from third world to first world. Do we want to reinvent the world? Our politics beholden to monstrous godfatherism, how do we hope to develop wing gang stars after and in a few years' time? Ibo land is indeed ripe for dictatorship. What will this mind-boggling sit at home order by an incipient group 
with all of us cowering in our bedroom like invalid and cowards of the most wretched breed of humanity. Our May I, on behalf of our faculty of arts, University of Nigeria, profusely welcome you to the Lions Den. The faculty was conceived for a student population of 500 in the late 1980s and early 1990s, with a star strength of less than 80. Today, dedicated. We understand that times are hard and therefore welcome any widow's mind. Thank you for honoring our invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Frank Mweke Jr. Dean, Faculty of Arts. Representative of the University Librarian, our former Dean of Nigeria. Today is a very special day in the Faculty of Arts, where I also belong. The faculty is hosting a man to be hosted. Politics and development, as the Dean said, you know that they are inseparable. But sometimes it appears to us as such development happen in other climes. 